In Hitler's Germany, one man wrote protests on postcards and left them on the streets. For these Twitter-like acts of rebellion, he was executed on this guillotine. His little messages were stillborn, and the dictatorship endured. Two years ago, a British newspaper editor sent a single Twitter message that sparked unpaid activism that exposed the malfeasance of a multinational corporation. Why do some little messages matter and others do not? These two stories show that democracy requires more than just public speech. For speech gains its power when citizens affiliate freely in groups and with institutions worthy of allegiance. We don't teach young people how to make their little messages matter in society, but we could.